Okay, I just have to say this, but dating in 2023 as a 32-year-old divorced woman is freaking wild. Like, sometimes I'll just be looking at situations like, what the was that, you know? Like, it's hard to offend me nowadays, and I don't get easily attached to literally anybody. So, when you think, like, you've made a play or something, I already know what's going on because I've, like, been through all that shit. So, it doesn't affect me. Like, I'm just gonna go ghost, you know? Ladies, if you want to know if a guy's genuine or not, just don't sleep with them. Like, that's literally it. Just don't sleep with them. Like, wait, wait some months. Wait some months till you sleep with them and give them your precious gift that you could possibly give somebody because whenever you sleep with these guys and you create those soul ties it's over it's over my mind is so clear like being celibate I know exactly like what I'm looking for I can see a player from a mile away um and I don't want anything to do with it so don't sleep with them I'm going to preface it by saying this. We live in a society where there is this hookup culture and it is, you think it's so hard like not to feel loved or not to be with somebody. It's actually so easy um, if you just don't do it because you are getting rid of all that extra attention, all those guys that like just want to mess around, all those guys who just like want you for a night, whatever. I hate it when girls say, I can get any guy I want. No, you could sleep with any guy that you want. That's men will literally screw a corpse like we've seen that you know that, that that's facts um it's not that it's finding like a genuine man who has a connection with god who will love you unconditionally will wake up and choose you like every single day there's such a huge difference and i think that we get so caught up in like what the world views dating as versus like what it should be and it's so sad it's so sad how there's like very few men that have the right intentions nowadays but if you stay celibate it's so easy and so clear to see through all the bs and that is my message for today and this is why you don't want to be dating as a 33 year old divorced woman goodness gracious i mean this chick is only in her 30s already divorced her husband man and you know, statistically, if she gets married again, the likelihood of that marriage ending in divorce is even higher because she's already done it once, right? It's like when you run a five minute mile the first time, it seems hard, but then it gets easier and easier, you know? And sadly, it's the same thing for these women divorcing their husbands. You know, I was just talking to this, uh, Persian woman who uh, moved here from uh, Iran, right? I've never been there, but she was telling me how difficult it is to get divorced in Iran. And I said, oh, that's interesting because here in the United States, it's very easy to get divorced. It's also very easy to get married. And uh, she says, oh, not there. It's very hard to uh, get divorced. It's very hard to get married. And I said, yeah, that's good. And she kind of looked at me cross-eyed like why is that good and i go because you shouldn't you shouldn't be getting married if you're just gonna get divorced she goes yeah but people change their minds and stuff and i was like um this is why you don't get married out of impulse this is why you know you take your time you get to know the person you don't just walk down the aisle with you know any tom dick and harry that you meet you know you have to take your time and i told her this is why we have such an epidemic here you know besides everything else going on but uh you know people like getting divorced because they it's just too easy right so people quit and right now we have a you know just kind of like a mentality that uh, the mainstream pushes which is it's okay to be a quitter right and in my book i didn't grow up i didn't grow up in that world i grew up in the 80s right where it was like basically win 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 rocky four right win 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 rocky win is that what adrian said so I'm all about winning. I mean, so much so. It's on my license plate here on my Lamborghini. You can see on my IG. I haven't posted it already. My new uh, plate says winning, right? It's all about winning. It's just a reminder for myself that I like to win. I don't like to lose. I don't like to fail. And even if I do, it's okay as long as I learn from that, right? So it's okay to fail and lose as long as you learn from that and you get up and you get better. Uh, however, when it comes to marriage, you have to make it work 
right? And you can do this in a marriage. You can look at the things that you're failing at in your marriage, things that aren't going right, and you work together to fix it, right? If you made the decision to be with this person and to marry this person, guess what? It's your job, okay, to work with this person to fix it, okay? Do not tell yourself that you are going to stay out there, you know, and... Uh, you're going to somehow uh, become single and live this magic fantasy of dating like hot guys from the apps when you could have just done that with your husband, right? Oh, I gotta put this in neutral real quick. Yeah, I need like both hands to uh, put the paddles in neutral. In any case, yeah, so this chick is, I mean, she's still in her early 30s, so these chicks really don't get um, the rude awakening until they're a bit older when they're in their 40s and they're really really no longer getting attention from men and men are really really just not even giving them a second look anymore and they're just walking right over them and going right for the 22 year olds it's then that they realize like oh shoot maybe I should have saved my marriage maybe I should have tried to make that work maybe I was a little too harsh maybe he wasn't that bad Right, it, I know statistically there there is a, a high percentage of women who uh, do initiate divo the divorce and then immediately regret it, right? Because and these are the same women that got married impulsively. They're just making another impulsive decision to get divorced. Just don't divorce. Just I mean, if you got married, you know you, hey, you made your bed now lay in it. You got to make it work, okay. And that goes double if you have children. You gotta make it work because it's not fair to the kids that you go do you and you go live your best life now that uh, you have children. How are they supposed to live their best life, huh? You can't make it all about you if you're trying to go out there and live your best life. No, you have to sacrifice. You have to make it about your kids. Otherwise, you should never got married, should never had kids. But if it's too late, hey, you gotta learn from this, right? It will make you grow up. It will make you grow up and stop being so hedonistic and making everything about you. Next clip. Now that I'm doing this, this is such a clear yes or no. Like, duh, I'm doing this. But ask me last year, a few years ago, there's no chance I was going to do egg freezing. It didn't even like cross my mind because my whole life I wanted to get naturally pregnant. But now that I am 31 and people around me are getting pregnant, I'm realizing I am nowhere near being ready to be a mom. And I really want kids one day, but if I do have a child, I want to be present. I want to be a really good mom. But for me right now, I'm traveling a lot. I'm growing a business. I'm building, trying to build an empire for by Ava, my own personal brand. So with all of this going on, I just want to delay it a little bit, but by freezing my eggs and embryos, I have a higher chance of having, you know, healthy baby whenever I'm ready. Maybe I'll be ready at 35, maybe I'll ready at 40. You just don't know what's gonna happen. So this is for me to give a little bit more peace of mind for when I am ready to have kids one day. Yo, whenever I hear a woman talking about freezing her eggs, I immediately get creeped out. So you guys tell me, I mean, when you hear about a chick who is about to freeze her eggs, do you get creeped out? Does that sound a little just disturbing to you? A little too sci-fi? Um, I mean, I know personally that I, if I ever found out, if I became an adult and I found out that I was a frozen embryo in a lab once, uh, I would be a little creeped out by that. Right? Uh, so, yeah. I mean word to the wise ladies if you do things right if you just find the right man don't ride the carousel and chase your corporate career because let's face it the two go hand in hand in their you know for these modern women in their 20s they ride the carousel and they chase a corporate job right it's almost like the the triple c cc <laughs> the carousel and the corporate job Right, that's what they're doing in their in their uh, 20s. And don't think for a second, like, no, she's just chasing her career. She was just trying to become a corporate woman. No, no, these chicks are definitely in their recreational time or riding that, uh, that carousel. Boy, you better believe it. So, <laughs> yeah, if you just don't do those things, guess what? You don't need to freeze your eggs. You don't need to worry about freezing your eggs. You don't need to 
you know, worry about going to a lab and paying a fee and finding a donor and all that is really disturbing. Uh, besides the fact that it's very uh, unfair to raise a child without a father. It just is. These are statistics that so many of these broads love to ignore, right? These are, it's a statistical fact that this kid is 27 times more likely to be depressed, drop out of school, become an alcoholic, become a drug abuser, end up in, you know, end up in prison. I mean, all of the above, okay? It's not fair to the child. Have anger issues. And then we as a society have to deal with this little runt of yours, this little curtain crawler and crumb cruncher. You know, once it becomes adult, we have to deal with this terror that you brought into the world. I mean, I don't know why, like, they haven't made single motherhood illegal, man. I mean, it's like, or you should face a hefty fine for having a kid at a wedlock. You shouldn't be gifted with tax money. You should be punished, you know, at least financially, right? So you don't do it to dissuade women from doing this and bringing more criminals into the world. It's funny how these woke lefties love to create the problem and then they create, you know, then they act like saviors when they think of like trying to create solutions to the problems that they created because they're the ones who are pushing for single motherhood. Then they complain about all the crime that's going on going, oh, this is the solution we're going to propose. Oh, these right wingers are blocking it. It's like, no, you created the problem in the first place, right? You know what you should do is just stop the problem before it happens and the problem starts at single motherhood right you should not be having a kid without a strong father figure that is going to stick around right and you can't don't do this obama crap where you're like oh you know these men need to step up no you're the one opening your legs you are the gatekeeper to sex as a female right you need to close your legs if you don't think he's the right guy he's not going to stick around close your legs say no right you have the deciding power ultimately to say no Guys, we don't get to say no because you get to have the baby, right? You have the deciding power to be like, no, I'm not going to have sex with this guy. I'm not going to let him impregnate me. Uh, I don't want to be in that position. I don't want to become a single mom. But even worse than that, freezing your eggs. Don't freeze your eggs. It's creepy. It's wrong. And it's very disturbing. And it scares children. As always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you there in my comments. All right, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out here with the Lamborghini. Yes, it's my Lambo. Go to Matt Cross Official, my IG, see the entire process of me purchasing this vehicle. It took about two months to close, and the same guy who delivered my DeLorean also delivered my Lamborghini. TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. If you ever need to transport a muscle car, exotic car, he's your man. So, very excited about this vehicle. It's uh, actually a pretty rare find. It's Rossofesto Red, which is one of the rarest colors for Lamborghini. It's a $14,880 option, believe it or not. I was on a hunt for one for over two years, just like I was my DeLorean. Finally found one. Got super low miles, 11K, not bad. And we're gonna be featuring this car a lot more here on the channel for many years to come. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Whew. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. It hasn't dried yet, but I'm still putting this on there. It's my IG tag. But as always, gentlemen, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button below. Do it for the Lamborghini. And the DeLorean, I still have it, by the way. I'm not selling the DeLorean. I'll probably keep this car for a little bit, but uh, DeLorean is gonna stay. So uh, we'll get the DeLorean back on here pretty soon, but uh, enjoy the Lamborghini. And again, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program seven months to mastery where i'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there into the world and approach and close the youngest hottest and most beautiful looking women on the planet i'm talking about eights nines and tens same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week and i kid you not we are making it happen every single week I want you to become one of us. I want you to join us. And 
right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me in mastery so take advantage of it it's the best way to support my work if you love what i'm doing here if you love what i'm teaching you here and you feel like i've added value to your life this is the best way to pay me back get into my monthly online coaching program seven months of mastery all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i'll see you in my next coaching video i'm out with the lambo till next time Oof, so sweet <laughs>